Hey everyone, Jeff Pirashad here for Swish 710 Bowling, and we're here today because of bowling drama. Radical recently released a ball called the Rattler, and when you look at the color, and the snake on the logo, and the RG and the differential, all the motor fans were getting up in arms because they thought this ball was really similar to a Venom Shock. So... I thought, well, let's try it out and see. And while we're at it, let's throw the IQ Tour in too. So we can find out who's the king of the lower differential balls. The Rattler, the Venom Shock, or the IQ Tour. So what I did was I drilled three of these, one of each. And completely new, out of the box. Didn't throw a shot with any of them until I recorded this video. And I put the same layout on all three. Because we want to get a true test and evaluation to see what the differences of these balls are. I took them out to the bowling center, just regular house shot, to see what they would do. Uh, the layout that I used is uh, 50 by 5 inches by 15 degrees. I put the pin up high because sometimes with the way I throw the ball, low differential balls just don't flare enough. Um, I never put the pin down on low diff balls because then they don't flare at all for me, for whatever reason. Uh, so I drilled them with a pin up high. Um, I actually got the idea from my friend Jameson Payton, uh, who's out in uh, Bowler Smart in the St. Louis area. Um, by the way, just a shout out to Jameson if you're in the St. Louis area and you need a ball uh, or you need some drilling advice. Hit him up. He actually manages the Valley Park location. It's on Doherty Ferry Road. So uh, thank you, Jameson. And uh, if you're in the area, go hit him up. Uh, but anyway, back to these three balls. So the first test came out to the lanes. I threw one shot with each ball. This is the first shot with each one. And I took a picture of the ball because I wanted to see the flare. The Venom and the Rattler have similar differentials, 0.034 in the Venom, 0.035 in the Rattler. The IQ Tours is lower at 0.029, so I expect it to flare a little less. So I took a picture uh, with each one after the first shot with each one, so you could see the flare. So let's take a look at those. The Rattler, uh, you can see it flared a, a decent amount you know, for a low differential ball. Obviously, the pin is up high, so I'm getting a little more flare than I might otherwise get with a 5-inch pin. The IQ flared a little more than the Rattler, and that surprised me because it had the lower differential. So I guess... Uh, the lower undrill differential doesn't necessarily translate to when it's drilled. The Venom Shock had the lowest flare of all three. Uh, so there you can see what that is going to look like. So let's take a few shots with each ball. We'll just rotate through them as we go. Um, I didn't really know what to expect from the Rattler because obviously it's new. Hadn't thrown one yet. And it's got a lot to live up to if it wants to be included in the same category as the IQ and the Venom Shock. I mean, the IQ and the Venom Shock are their all-time balls. Uh, they've been around for what seems like forever, and they've both been really successful out on the PBA Tour. People use them in leagues all the time, um, and they're like the go-to balls. Uh, if you don't know what's going out, uh, what's going on out on the lanes, you know everything's really messy. You go to a Venom Shock or you go to an IQ Tour, and that's just the way it's been for the last five, ten years. Um, and the Rattler now is something that all the, the Brunswick Seven Brands people can use to fit in uh, that category where Storm and Motive have had that kind of a ball in their line for a long time. And uh, I didn't really know what to expect from the Rattler, but it looked really good. It, it, you can see the subtle differences between all three of these balls, even though they're just so similar. Uh, the, the Venom just is so much more aggressive because the cover is it's the cover is really strong on the venom whereas the cover on the iq tour is really clean so you're getting two different kinds of reactions but you saw the flare the venom the the flare rings are really tight the iq the flare rings are very wide uh so you're gonna get different reactions because of that the the Venom seemed to be a little more angular off the spot, whereas the IQ is very round. And I thought the Rattler kind of fits in between those. And um, it's kind of a not, it, it's like a half of one and half of the other. It's, it's almost like if you took the Venom and the IQ and you just kind of mushed them together, the Rattler is what you would get. The cover isn't as strong as the Venom and it's not as clean as the IQ. Um, the Rattler did rev up really well on the back end. I like what they did with the core. Uh, if you watch any of uh, Radical's videos on their balls, they, they like to tout how angular and continuous their stuff is on the back end. And I actually haven't thrown a Radical ball in quite some time. 
Uh, but I see it in the Rattler. It, it gets to the back end and it really revs up and it does have some angle to it. Um, and it's just it's just tweaky, just a little different than the than the other two. So you can kind of pick the one you want based on the reaction you the shape you want. Is is that's really what I would go with. Figure out what shape you want and how much volume there is, and uh, that's what we're gonna go with. Um, that shot with the venom, I threw it bad. It's, you know, I'm showing you all the shots. So I called executive privilege. I'm taking a do over. This is the last shot, and I didn't want to end on uh, something really awful. Uh, so uh, that's what I've got. So let's do a wrap up. Closing thoughts. First, the cover and flare. I thought the Venom Shock has the strongest cover uh, and the least amount of flares you saw from the pictures, while the IQ Tour had the cleanest cover, but the most amount of flare, which was a little surprising because the IQ Tour has the lowest undrilled differential of the three balls. The Rattlers seemed to fit in between the two. The cover was stronger than the IQ Tour, but not as strong as the Venom Shock, and it flared a little more than the Venom Shock, but not as much as the IQ Tour. So where would you play with these three balls? I think the Venom is probably best for playing straighter angles on higher volumes uh, because the cover is so strong and it really wants to grab. But the lower flare um, probably isn't great for covering a ton of boards. The IQ Tour, I think, is best for circling boards because it does have the higher flare and the cleaner cover. So I think it has the most recovery potential. The Rattler, I think, fits in really well as a first and second transition balls, but only if it's not super high volume. I don't think the Rattler or the IQ Tour are really great for higher volumes. Um, the Venom isn't either, but it's a little better just because the cover is stronger. As far as back end shape and reaction, uh, the Venom felt like it was the most angular of them, but it also felt like the most sensitive on the back end. The strong cover really wanted to grab the lane if I threw it too slow, but the lower flare sometimes could make the ball want to push too far if I was a little fast, and sometimes it felt like those two worked against each other for my game. The IQ felt like it was the most consistent shape on the back end because it was round, but it also felt like because it was round, uh, if I wasn't circling the lane and creating enough launch angle into the dry, it could be a little too clean and not generate enough entry angle in the oil if you are if you get a little left inside or if you're playing those fade backs. Uh, the Rattler felt like it was a good medium between those two. Um, it was cleaner than the Venom Shock, but earlier than the IQ Tour. A little more angular than the IQ Tour, not as aggressive on the back end as the Venom Shock. I thought it continued a little better than the IQ and oil, um, and it pushed a little better th into the dry than the Venom. So that's what I thought about the comparison between the Venom Shock, the IQ Tour, and the Rattler. Leave a comment below and tell me what you guys think. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. It's free and you can get notifications when I upload more videos. Thank you very much and see you all next time.